health as you get older is the most important thing because you may have wealth but if you don't have health wealth is useless prior to my first heart attack i worked very very hard and did not pay attention to health or anything else and given that i had my first heart attack at the age of 37 no high blood pressure no smoking no drinking very perfect life we were living and all of a sudden this happened so it was a shock and december 16th 1991 the second heart attack took place i had already lost one artery rca now i lost lad so i'm down to one left and i was told that i have 60% blockage even in the circumflex artery the cardiologist told me that look chan if you want to go for bypass you know we can arrange it the next day at that time uh, he did not offer me any uh, other options and i said look uh, i want to think about it he used to tell me that you know one day if i can find a doctor who can open my 200% blockage artery that is the goal so we told the cardiologist that look uh, i'm sorry we don't want to get do the bypass we want to go home and try switching to vegetarian low fat diet but the thing that most concerned me was it was my last artery what if something happened i'm gone you know i think god gives strength when time comes so i was fine so mr patel's wife talked to i think three different interventional cardiologists who felt that his anatomy was not amenable to percutaneous techniques and it was interesting that when he talked to his doctors he was asymptomatic except when you talk to him he wouldn't walk faster than 3 miles an hour on a treadmill because he started to feel bad i was led to believe that there is nothing you can do about this thing a heart attack took place and you lost your muscle forever a large number of patients are told it can't be done or doesn't need to be treated these patients have been ignored because the ability to successfully revascularize and percutaneously had been very limited so a lot of these patients were not getting treated nobody has been prepared in the past to take those cases on they don't have the skill or or don't have the motivation to learn how to open a chronically occluded vessel there are very few doctors who do this so i started googling and the first thing i noticed is dr lombardi's name a set of films uh, arrived in my office and he wanted to be fixed and he wanted to make sure that it was fixed by one of the leading experts in CTO PCI from a technical standpoint dr lombardi sends me a message through his secretary come on down i'll fix you when we had a discussion with dr lombardi i kept on telling him that you know as long as he can do his routine thing whatever he is doing now that is the goal and if this procedure can change him that is a bonus point for us and he convinces us about a couple months after his procedure i got an email from him saying that he was jogging on the treadmill and he was training for a half marathon then the next email i got he had just done his half marathon and then probably 6 to 8 months after the procedure but he just did a sub 6 hour marathon on a treadmill at his local sports club and he was thrilled now i have three arteries helping each other as opposed to only one artery it gave us a lot of confidence and and that is that is the most important factor of our life now past 10 years there has been an extraordinary evolution in the CTO training with the consolidation of knowledge the expansion of the community there is a systematic way to be able to push the educational process forward and to to reproduce the education of operators the new operators have the ability to pick up all of the experience that's been developed over the years so they can go to a teaching course around the world 
and they've got a huge body of experience that they can work on. It's wonderful. It's wonderful that returning his heart function to normal, he gets to go back and do whatever he wants. To put it very simply, this is a new person who has got his heart back.